Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I hope you don't get tired of hearing this. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Drofts in the Rocks of Gotland On the Swedish island of Gotland, there are more than 3,600 stones with chamfers, notches or cuts. The hypothesis of scientists is, swords were sharpened on the stones and left such grooves. According to the marks on the stones, it appears that the sword was held perpendicular to the surface. But this does not contribute to sharpening. It is interesting, that identical traces are found on the stone slopes of Gotland. This year, a temple, lost two centuries ago, was found in the water. After a period of heavy rains, from 1830 to 1850, a series of severe floods changed the riverbed and flooded the church and with its several villages. In that year, the river had become very shallow, and the dome of the temple appeared above the water. The depth of the river at this point is about 3 meters, and the total height of the temple, according to historical records, about 18 meters. The 15 meters thick layers of silt and sand have completely preserved the building. It is only unclear how Indian archaeologists determine the age of their fossils. At a depth of 1 meter is 50 years, at a depth of 18 meters is 200 years. Is it normal to be carried away like that? The territory of Mexico holds many mysteries and mysterious artifacts. And now one of these artifacts has been found, which by its existence raises very uncomfortable questions. The artifact itself is a stone tablet that was found in a cave during excavations. The tablet depicts a tall figure with thin limbs, but a large head. On the head are convex eyes, a flat nose, and a small mouth. It remains a mystery who was depicted on the stone. At the moment, the excavation site is classified to prevent theft and looting because there have been such cases before. Waffle Rock, located on the shores of Lake Jennings Randolph. There seems to be nothing special about it, but if you look closely at the outlandish, regular geometric pattern, many questions arise. The imprint on the rock is controversial, whether it is a geological formation or a remnant of ancient technology. According to some scientists, this huge piece of rock could have originated 300 million years ago. Those who have seen the rock are confused by its construction and composition. The lines are so parallel and so smoothly polished that it is hard to imagine that it could have been produced by natural phenomena. To this day, no one knows for certain for what purpose, by what, or by whom this structure was created. Everyone offers their own theory, trying to explain the incredible origin of this piece of stone. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In the seemingly recent past, there are enough oddities and inconsistencies. For example, some people noted the complete absence of people on the pictures of St. Petersburg and Moscow streets, although in other cities there were always people. 
and even if the photos were taken early in the morning, this fact is not explained, but the most interesting is another thing, the bird's eye view photos. Already in the middle of the 19th century you can see pictures of very good quality, although cameras appeared only 20 to 30 years ago. In addition, some pictures were taken as if from something frozen above the city. According to official history, there were no helicopters back then, nor were there normal controlled airplanes. So how were pictures taken in this quality and right over the city? The mystery of the ancient map, which is several hundred years ahead of its image. The Puri race map still leaves many questions. This map of 1500 is still a mystery to many scientists. Even the simplest person who has only seen in Yandex map will probably ask himself, how was it possible to create the present Earth 500 years ago? If you dig a little deeper, a number of other questions pop up, one of which is, how did the cartographer manage to create a map of America, if at that time it was only known about it by hearsay? It is worth noting that some of the lands on the map in those years was not known to people at all. They were discovered decades after this highly accurate map was created. Antarctica was discovered three centuries later. But most surprisingly, the subglacial continent has the clear outlines of today. Many scientists agree and believe that the map was made thanks to data from other human civilizations. Welding technology was known in the 19th century, but apparently was not considered as effective as riveting. They fastened everything from pipes to bridges to ships, with the same ease as nails to wood. They were somehow melted into even the hardest to reach places, even though they were made of steel. Today, such a perfect connection can only be achieved with a CNC riveting press. But you understand yourself, it's difficult, expensive, and also noisy and vibrating. But how did our ancestors do it? In the old pictures, there is a riveter's tool, to which some kind of hose is attached. Apparently, this device melted the rivet and firmly seated it in the hole of the joint, requiring no helpers, no time, and no effort. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.